In this video, you will learn how to create an Oracle implementation user. Log in as the user assigned by Oracle. Navigate to the security console. There are a couple of ways of doing this. You could either scroll right till you get to tools and then uh, select the security console from here or else from the navigator menu you can click and scroll down click on tools and then select security console from here if there is a warning message click on the ok button to close it Click on the user's icon on the left panel. Click on the add user account button. Leave the associated person type as none. The other choice is worker. Since at this moment there are no employees created in the system yet and we are creating an implementation user, we will leave, leave the person type as none. When we create employees later, we will associate them with the user. Enter the first name. Enter the last name. You will notice that the system defaulted the first name dot last name into the username field. Type in the email. You can choose a completely different user ID. Enter the password and then confirm the password. At this point, we have entered all the user information. We will need to add roles to the user. Click on the add role button. In the search button, we are going to enter the name of the role that we are going to assign. So first, we'll assign the role IT Security Manager. Once the list uh, of all the roles starting with IT Security Manager are displayed, we are going to select the role with the code starting with ORA, ORA. And then we'll have to select it a second time. Make sure that you select the role prefixed with the code ORA and do not choose the one which has got the word copy in it. Click on add role membership. You'll get a confirmation, click on OK. Then we will proceed to add the next role. To do this, we should not exit this window. We should delete the previous role. Then we can select the second role and then type it in into the search box. Once that role appears, make sure you select the role with the code prefixed with Aura. Click on Add Role Membership. Click on OK to confirm. Then we'll add the third role, Application Implementation Administrator. We'll also add Application Implementation Manager. We will proceed to add all the other roles listed over here. Now that we have added all the roles, we will click on the Done button. 
you can review all the roles that were added to the user over here. We will save and close. And then we will log out and log in as the new user. Optionally, you can save the username and password in your browser. So the usually the first thing I do after I log in as a brand new user is to go to my preferences. I change the regional preferences. The time zone particularly needs to be changed from UTC to whichever is your time zone. And I would also recommend that you change the date format from the default to DDMMYYYY. That is my recommendation. And then we save and close. Click on home to get back to the home page. So this is how you create a user, an implementation user, log in as the implementation user and change your preferences note that we have not assigned any data access to this user yet once all the ledgers and business units are set up many of the roles that we have assigned in this video will need to be assigned data access so that the user can actually enter transactions and review data already in the in the system so that takes us to the end of this video.